Okay, welcome to the second part of Mirai no Mirai no Kimi to Subete no Tani. Um, last time we last time um Miku does not have any clothes, so we need clothes right now. Oh. Miku tilts her head and looks at me. I catch a glimpse of her thin shoulders, but I'm trying not to look too much. I'm going to lose it if this keeps up, I mutter under my breath and sigh. Now then, what things? With naked Miku hidden under the futon? Futon? I'm still having a trouble, I'm still having trouble saying that. Futon, I think things over again. Well, naturally, I don't have any woman's clothes. <laughs> and Miku's an android, so she can't catch a cold. But blankets can't take the place of clothing. I couldn't bear her clinging to me while clothes or walking around the, no the room naked. That would drive me batty. What does batty mean? She's looking at me as if to say, What's bothering you? And I'm glad she's concerned about me, but she is what's bothering me, so... Oh, that's it! Miku may have some... Oh, sorry. Miku may have come packaged with some clothes. Hold on a minute. Me? I get Miku's outfit from over in the corner, and hand it to her without looking. Here you go, Miku. Put this on! Me? Miku takes the clothing and stares at it with great interest. I guess that's soft. Let me make sure of that, I turn my back to Miku. Whether the futon was turned inside out while she's changing is not something I know. Me. With my back turned, I overhear the rustling of clothing being changed. Some desperate resistance while I wait for her to change. Me? How could changing clothes make such a racket? Me! From her voice, Miku sounds kind of angry. And it makes my ears jump. Eee! Eee! What in the world got her angry? Eee! A depressed voice? Oh. Thinking she may need some help. I slowly turn toward her. Me! Me! She has the blanket draped around her head. With only her face sticking out and sort of pops out her cheeks. What's going on here? Me. She goes out to me and looks at me with a troubled expression. There's no way. No one will expect this. Absolutely not. Me. <laughs> Nevertheless. She's giving me a look of solicitude. Solicitude. Could it be you aren't able to change yourself? Me. Her expression becomes suddenly clear and she nods vigorously. <laughs> you mean you want me to change you? Me. She comes her she confirms it with by nodding again. Do the, you can't do it yourself no matter what? Me? Me? And you're sure you want me to? Me? Seems like I got no choice. Uh, Alright then. I make up my mind to do it. Suppressing my overwhelming nervousness. With Miku covered by the futon. I brace up her upper body. Eee! 
Miku squirms with impatience. That's when the blanket slides up and exposes her bare skin. What? Wow! I desperately look away. Seeing the nape of her neck and back even, I feel hot when my place flushed. Uh-oh. I feel like swooning. For me, it's too much stimulation. My head is about to overheat. <coughs> Miku raises her voice in complaint. Probably wanting to say, hurry up and change me. Um, um. Well, I can't leave things like this. Trying as much as possible not to look, I pick up her clothes. My hands shaking from the mental strain. I lift up Miku's arms and put them through the sleeves as best as I can. <coughs> Oops! Uh, sorry! Miku is apparently ticklish because she squares and I quickly release my hands. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I guess she's laughing. <laughs> I can't do it. The excitement is overwhelming me. Even so... Me! Me! Hey! Stay still! Me! While trying to stop Miku's wriggling and struggling, I managed to get the clothes on her. I finally managed to get her changed and pause for a breath. Also, um, I'm sorry for any lip smacking. I do that very often. I don't know. I don't know how to stop it. Hmm. The seams on this outfit are obvious. Looking closely, there's a tag sewn on the back. Oh man, it's on inside out. Me. Afterwards, I go to put on Miku's skirt. Oh no, it's the wrong way around! I discovered that the skirt also had a front and back side. Man, this did not go well. That's it. I've had it. Me! Somehow or other, I finished getting her dressed. She seems happy about it, and now I'm exhausted. Little did I know that tonight, not only will I be... Unclothing a girl, but re-clothing her too. Think that's been, think that it's been quite an experience for me. As I look at Miku, who's happy with me, and that's it. That's that for the section. Eight. Me, me. I exhausted myself getting her dressed up, but now Miku seems to be complaining about something else. Me. Me. I'm not entirely sure, but from her eyes and the way she moved, she seems to want me to look at her at the manual again. All right, I got it. Let's see. Well, it seems that once activated, Nico needs to be configured. For details, consult the help file. Let's see. I look in the help file to see how to do this. Me. I have no idea how to... I'm just winging it at this point. Miku peers at the PC screen from behind. It's rather detailed. There are several detailed steps for this. First of all, in order to use Miku, a language must be set. I see. Because no language is set, all Miku can say right now is me. I'll set it to Japanese. Next. Selecting a behavioral synthesis engine and setting the output. Hmm, interesting. Apparently, there's two things... What? Sorry. These two things govern her movements in order that she can perform actions freely, okay? And that's why Miku couldn't get herself changed. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense now. Mm, that's a lot of configurations. Configurations for a poor little robot android. 
Anyway, this help file seems to be just what I needed, so I continue to read it. Next, focus setup. There are several things that need to be set, but basically five categories. Breathiness controls the ratio between vocalizations and breathing. Breathing controls the ratio between vocalizations and breathing. Brightness changes the harmonies produced by her vocal cords. Changes the harmonies produced by her vocal cords. Opening Changes the harmonies produced by the size of the oral cavity Changes the harmonies produced by the size of the oral cavity Changes the harmonies produced by the size of the oral cavity Okay, I need to stop <laughs> This scene is full of how she sounds when she sings <laughs> I'm not wrong! <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but it sucks. I'm a singer, I know this. It certainly lets you tweak a lot of stuff. She can do a female voice, obviously, but also male voices and animal voices of varying weights. Oh my god, I wanna laugh. It looks like that's it. Really something? Me? <laughs> Me? The only word she can say- I'm just kidding. Um, bad joke. Miku inclines her head in response to my statement. This is about how it is. I checked typical installation and hit okay. You. When it's over, I unconsciously sigh in relief. You. So now I just have to wait for the setup to take effect. I spontaneously stretch. And... Hmm... Hmm... Hmm? Red as the settings are being saved, something suddenly pokes me in the back. I look behind me, and Miku has a new kind of expression on her face. How do you do? I'm Miku! Unlike earlier, she can now speak clearly and properly. Um... I'm surprised enough that I can't say anything for a moment. Huh? What's the matter? Well, you're talking. Ah, uh, well, of course I am. This from someone who could say nothing but me a minute ago. That's because you didn't set me up properly. Her cheeks redden uh, slightly. As though she's embarrassed. Is that the way of it? Yes, that's the way of it. Well, anyway... Anyway, what? Anyway, you can speak just fine. It would be problematic if I couldn't. Somehow I feel the point is being missed here. But whatever. Miku seems to be in a good mood, though. She's looking at me. What is it? Thank goodness. I really wanted to be able to talk. To whom? To you, of course. She beams at me. Better late than never. It's nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, nice to meet you, too. Looks like things will be lively from now on. I think guess I bow. Is it bow or bow? <laughs> I think I said it wrong. I think it's bow. Gosh. Gosh, why do I do that? That's embarrassing. Okay. Now then, what should we talk about? Uh, well, let's see. Yuko says she wants to talk to me. I mean, sorry, talk with me. When it comes to a subject, I'm not thinking of any. Yet, if I don't talk about something, it could cause trouble. Mm. Come on! Come on! I'm in trouble. She's looking at me with eyes full of expectation. With each movement, I see how closely she resembles a human being. The more I look at her, 
the cuter she seems to get. Why are you staring me like that? No reason, I mean. I'm, I'm not. It seems I have been staring at her without noticing. <laughs> Snapping out of it, I wave my hands left and right. I can't wait to talk about having just met. I see. We've just met, haven't we? What is it? Um, nothing. Now that I think about it, I really know nothing about Miku. Well, there is something I wanted to talk about. Oh, what's that? You don't mind if it's about you? Something about me? Yeah, I was wondering if you could tell me a little about yourself. My name is Miku. Why is she angry? <laughs> she just changed her expression like, um, my name is Miku? <laughs> Who do you think I am? Okay. Huh? Well, I knew that. Not just you. Not just me? Jeez. I'm saying, use my name, Miku. Oh, I... Even if she's an android, I can hardly call someone I just met by their first name only. Oh, right, because this is Japan. Um... Miku-chan? Just call me Miku. It's alright with me. <laughs> she's a... <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> oh! Oh, that's like a... That's like profile picture potential right there. I'm probably gonna use it. <laughs> but look here. But look here. It's rather embarrassing. I shrink from calling someone by their first name like that. Until you call me Miku, I won't talk to you. Nah? She wants me to call me by her name. With no... With no chan or anything and is looking the other way. <laughs> she is not happy. Um, say... N Miku... Chan? <laughs> Oh, the heck with it! <laughs> she wins. Me, Miku? Yes. What is it? I force myself to say Miku, and she responds with a big smile. Man, oh man. She's so cute. At that moment, I realize I'll never win against her. I'm just getting around to asking, but you're you're an android, right? That's right. She answers nonchalantly. Nonchalantly. <laughs> Even though I see her there in front of me, it seems unreal. Honestly, I would act the same way. Just imagine. Real life, Hatsune Miku. I think, I think, I think a lot of um, Miku fans, like, heart will, like, stop beating. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop. I don't want to stop. What about it? You're an android for making music, right? Yes, that's right. She answers gladly, her chest swelling a bit. A foregone conclusion, and I suppose the most important thing to Miku. A dull pain runs through my chest. What's wrong? Nothing. Don't be concerned about it. Getting back to you, Miku. You can make a song easily with a PC, I suppose. I bet Miku and the others like her could do that without even trying. Now, their expert performances are so popular, they're being broadcast. Sure. And I'm the most recent model too. Says Miku proudly. 
clearing her throat and stretching her back to push out her chest. What little she has of one. <laughs> what? No! Just now. Weren't you thinking something incredibly rude? Yes, he was! Absolutely not! Liar. Hmm, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she says, I mean this respectfully, as she should. Incidentally? I mean, sorry. Incidentally, how did you end up in that place? Feeling in jeopardy, I forcefully, forc forcibly changed the subject. Me? Yeah. When I found you there, I was so surprised. I thought my heart would stop. You don't say. Don't you remember that? Oh, I forgot to save! Let me save right now. Wait, that's a quick save. Let me save right here. Nope, I don't. In that case, where did you live originally? I don't know. Then let me ask. I'm telling you, I don't know. But I haven't asked the question yet. Okay. Unconsciously, as I escapes me. I don't suppose she notices. Miku pouts with dissatisfaction. I was just activated, you know. How do you know? How do you expect me to know such things? True. In any case, once activated, Miku was not removed from her packaging. Maybe her previous owner bought her bought it for her. Although, for whatever reason, she was left behind. Now it's my turn. Please tell me about yourself. Okay, shoot! First of all, let's see... Miku seems to be searching for something to ask. What are your favorite foods? Such a basic question. Is she trying to start out with an easy one? Favorite foods? I don't really have any. I'll eat pretty much anything. Me too. <laughs> That's actually me. I, I pretty much eat anything. I do have a favorite food. Usually I like seafood a lot. Like, um, shrimp? Um, yeah. Any kind of soup? I like soups too, like... Like, I don't know. That's great. Really? It certainly is. <laughs> if you say so. What else? Um, let's see. Miku raises her head in thought. Oh, I got one. Miku asks more questions about where I come from and where I lived, etc. Although to me, these are trivial questions. It doesn't seem to be so with her. As I answer the questions, she surprisingly nods her head with admiration. Anything else you want to know? She seems to still show interest. Looks like she's not done asking. Something else. Miku thinks it over. Oh. She looks at the musical musical instrument over in the corner. I forgot to ask about something important. Do you like music? I I love music. I listen to so many genres. I will list them right now. There are way too many as you can tell. <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue. 
She asked straightforward with a smile. Again, I feel the dull pain of heartbreak. Heartbreak run through my chest. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess that's a silly question. Since it looks like you play an instrument. Um. Miku inclines her head. Wondering at my abrupt silence. But I can't open my mouth. The heartbreak won't let go. Then, you don't like music? I wonder to what extent that might, extent that might be true. As the one who broke the silence was Miku. Unlike earlier, she suddenly has a sorrowful expression. I do like music. Really? Really? I was in a band in college. I wrote some songs too. Just a small, just a small band. Strictly amateur. But on days off, we would practice in the studio. And we did concerts too. Concerts too? That's neat! Well, I'm exaggerating when I say concerts. More like street performances. Even so, that's great! I'm <laughs> tickled that Miku looks at me so admiringly. Well now, so do you... So... Eh? So do you like music? I think it's meant to say... So you do like music after all. Now Miku sighs with relief. But it seems she notices something. You said you were in a band, right? <laughs> Her face... She's like, uh, you're in a band? <laughs> That's it. I said, I was in a band, not I am. The band I was in broke up not long ago. The memory of it makes me feel depressed. So, how did that happen? Well... There were many reasons, but basically there was a disagreement among the members. Back in those days, our band got along well together. Sorry, back in those days, our band got along well together. We had an experienced member in our band, strongly motivated. I tell Miko about that as well. Anyway, he had a great passion for music. But each practice, we ended up in conflict. Why? We just couldn't keep up with him. He was the only experienced musician. The rest of us were all beginners. I knew a few things, but there was still so much I had to learn back then. But nobody's that good when they're just starting out. I knew that, and so did he. And we put in great effort to, in order to catch up. But it didn't work out. We couldn't do it. Difference in levels was just too great. In the beginning, it was just a small gap. So there wasn't much conflict. Up until now, we had been planning a big Christmas concert. And then, just like that, we broke up. I can't connect with you people. That's awful. At that time, it looked like I was over and done with music. More than anger, I felt deep sorrow. Then, what happened? Naturally, the concert was cancelled. Nobody said anything, we just broke up. Oh dear. Miku looks troubled. I hadn't really planned on saying any of this. Sorry. I shouldn't be bothering you, bothering you with this. I meant to hold it in, but I ended up saying it all. And I'm saying this to someone I just met, who doesn't know anything about it. I hadn't even, I hadn't even told my friends the story, yet somehow I could tell Miku. 
It could say nothing, but only listens. This conversation was supposed to deepen our friendship, but looks like I spoiled things. Want anything to drink? It's no trouble. In hopes of changing the atmosphere, I get up to make some tea. But you do like music, right? She asked suddenly. This time more earnestly. I don't want to lie to Miko. But I might still like it. Yeah. I give her a nod. For you to have put forth so much effort, you have to like it at least a little. I suppose that's right. I don't really know at this point. In that case, what about trying to enjoy music once again? Huh? I'm saying you can enjoy it, whether you're good at it or not. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> she caught me off guard. Music is something you just en you just enjoy doing. Sorry. Oh my god. I said I see that like in the most weirdest way possible. What is wrong with me? I expect I recall it back when our band was just starting out. Okay. But I know all too well that might not be the case. Before I knew it, I might have forgotten all about what's right in front of me. You're right. I'm appalled I could have forgotten such a simple thing. Thanks, Miku. I feel her words have helped me somewhat. And I'm gonna end it right there. Because it's already been like over 30 minutes of recording right now. And I, I have to edit and edit out my lip smacking. I, I don't I don't know how to stop it, to be honest. I, I it's like one of my biggest like flaws when it comes to like speaking and singing too. Singing. I don't talk about this often, but or I don't mention it, but when I sing, um, sometimes like the lip smacking comes out and it's just really, really annoying. Anyways, I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna continue next time. Mm, probably probably next week. I'm I'm probably gonna do one again next week. So I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys like my my Miku voice. I know it's um what's the word for it? Like um I guess it's just a little um, Okay, so I have uh, <laughs> I have trouble like I guess like reading the dialogue sometimes. Like I say it in a certain way that's not supposed to be read that way, and I'm like, oh, why did I why did I say it like that? I don't know. My 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 acting was like really bad. <laughs> I hope I get better later on. It's just really awkward, and also I know I pronounce certain things differently because that's it's, it's just part of my accent. I just say things different, but. I know some people like my accent, a lot of people, everybody says that, so I just hope you like it. And I hope you like the playthrough, um, the let's play I just did and the, and the commentary. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. And yes, bye bye.